YouTube, what's happening? Excuse me, but I, I, I'm gonna just be raw. I don't, I don't care. You know, it's been a been a long morning, but anyway, hope y'all having a good Saturday morning. Um, as you can see, I'm drenched in sweat. I did a couple of properties this, this morning. Um, left home, got started literally on my first one at about 5:30. You know, a lot of people will see clips and they'll be like, "It's dark," but well, just trust me. Where I'm at is dark on one side and the sun is trying to slowly rise on the other side. So there's just a little bit of light, you know, that gives me, you know, grace to do what I got to do. And actually I do just fine. But I um, got up this morning. Um, like I said, got started pretty early. Just getting in, came home, um, took my blades off, sharpened them up, put them back on the board, and um, ready for Monday. Anyway, I just want to get on here and drop a quick video on here on a scenario today. Um, this isn't the first time, but I just want to drop this video. Um, I was doing a property. It was one of the properties that um, I was told, you know, they were going to, you know, have to go to a different route because of, you know, the price increase and everything. But anyway, I got a, got a message yesterday asking, could I do it? So, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not that headstrong to where I'm going to be like, no, I can't. So, you know, we... I went ahead and did it, took care of it, but um, every time I go to this property, this property is surrounded by two different homes that have dogs in their yards. So, you know, when I'm on the mower, you know, they, they bark and everything, but you know, I'm on the mower, I'm moving pretty swiftly across the yard with the mower. And, you know, all of last season, when I went there to mow, um, I had to keep my eyes on both properties, the one behind this one and the one to the side of this one, like I said, because each property has two dogs in the fence. Well, last season, I had me a little thing of, you know, pepper spray, you know, just to, when I get along the fence line, when I'm doing my trimming, and, you know, they're acting aggressive and trying to jump over the fence and barking and everything, you know, I'll take and I'll spray a little bit in their direction and that'll kind of keep them, you know, shoot away from the fence. You know, no harm, no foul, until I can get everything done. This morning, you know, same situation. I haven't been there in a while, but you know, I was weeding. I, I did everything I had to do, started sing filming, and I saw the dogs in the first property, you know, jumping and barking and carrying on, wanting to tear me apart if they can get over there if they wanted to. The second property, you know, the dogs finally showed it. They wasn't out at first, and then they finally came to the fence. Well, I was, you know, keeping my head on the swivel watching both properties because you know each property has some good sized dogs one is like a looks like a german shepherd the other one is two good sized labs and the one that came after me was like a, a mini like bulldog or whatever but he was about you know a little bit taller he'll be right about almost at my kneecap but anyway i was i was trimming this morning and i had my eyes on the other two in the other yard i was jumping tugging at the fence and I was looking at the two in the backyard well I took my eyes off the backyard just for a second and I didn't realize that the dog had somehow or another managed to get over the fence and when I was string trimming I, something said look up and when I looked up he was lunging straight at me and he, he was ready to tear into me I had the string trimmer pretty much at full idle because I was, you know, I was trimming. And when I saw it, I luckily I swung directly in his path and I hit it. And I still had the string trimmer revved up. So I guess me hitting it with the string trimmer and it, the head spinning still because I just had my hand on the trigger because I was working. Both of those ended up deterring him from me. And I only had the length of the string trimmer pole to my leg to stop this dog from getting to me. So, luckily, like I said, I, once I saw what was happening, I swung it and I hit him. And I gave me just enough space from the dog to actually retrieve my concealed carry. Because I, I was like, okay, this dog means business. He, he's after me. He, he's gotten over this fence now. And once, you know, I hit the dog, I guess it hurt him. He took off running in the opposite direction, but I still was drawn out because I was like, well, he got over. I know the bigger dog is definitely coming. So after the dog retreated, you know, I stopped and I, I took a minute to look around and out of the house came the, the property owners.
and they were running towards me. Did he bite you? Did he get you? What happened? You know, how did he get over there? And this and the third. And I told him, I said, you know, I don't know. I was, I had my eyes turned one way, string trimming, watching one set of dogs. And just a brief moment, I took my head off a of doe. That's when y'all's dog had the opportunity to go ahead and make that jump over the fence. And luckily, like I said, I saw him before he got to my leg and I was able to swing that trimmer, the pole, and stop him and put space between us just in case he tried to come back for round two. I had my weapon out and I was ready to, you know, send shots down range. You know, it's me or a dog and damn that dog, I'm, I'm out here working. And my point is to everyone, you know, when you're out here in these neighborhoods, be situational awareness. And it's not even initially with dogs, with people and your equipment and anything in general. But for dogs, be situational awareness. I don't know why, and this may comment may sound, you know, brazen or whatever, but if you know your neighbors having work done to their property and you know your dogs are overprotective of their property and you know you have your dogs on the inside of your house, that's, that's a given. I see them come out of the house. Both houses, I've seen them come out. So I know they're house animals. For the few minutes that somebody is over in your neighbor's yard doing work, like I was doing, and you know your dogs are carrying on pretty bad, a courtesy thing to do is bring your dogs inside for a few minutes and let that person do their work and so forth and so on and get out of there and then turn your dogs back loose. Now this morning could have really ended, you know, it would have ended tragically for the dog because it's me and a dog and I'm not, I'm not about to lose a battle to a dog. Once I got space and I got a drop on you, you you're done for. Like I said, the, the owners and everyone that came outside, they, they came running and asking, was I okay? The dog bite me. And, you know, everyone likes to use this narrative. Oh, he, he's not aggressive. He's, he's, he's a play dog. Or he, no, when a dog is lunging at you, teeth out, and he's coming and he's not stopping, he may be playful to you because he's your pet. To me, I'm a stranger. And to a dog, they're going to try to protect what they claim is their territory. So I'm making this video this morning, like I said, guys and girls out there, be situational awareness of your surroundings. Don't get so drowned out with these headphones in your ear and you lose one set of your senses. You know, I have one, when I'm mowing, I have both my headphones in. When I'm string trimming, and you may sound crazy, but I take one out. That gives me one sense of hearing of something that's not normal around me. And this morning, like I said, thank goodness, I was able to catch this dog. As soon as he was almost on top of me, I was able to turn with my strength trimmer and hit it and deter it from me and gave me enough space to be able to draw out, you know, with force if I had to. But I guess the stun from the strength trimmer sent him on his way. And like I said, that gave me time to stop and look around and make sure the bigger dog didn't get over the fence because if the smaller aggressive dog got over the fence or under the fence, I don't even know how he got over there. That big one could, could definitely do the same thing. But anyway, I want to cut this video short. Um, take this as a learning lesson for me. Situational awareness when you're doing anything, but especially you guys that are out here, guys and ladies out here doing lawn care in these neighborhoods where people have dogs surrounding you in you know their neighbor's property or a random dog that is roaming around. Keep your eyes on that. Because to you, you're a stranger. You have no kind of knowledge of this dog. This dog doesn't know who you are. All you are is a stranger to him. Stranger danger, I'm gonna bite you. You know, I'm gonna protect my property. You know, whatever. But anyway, you guys be safe out there. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'm about to get me washed up, get something to drink and eat, and call it a day. Y'all be safe. This is Simon from Ranch Kids Lawn Care. Catch y'all in the next one.